Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video? And um, so uh, today we have some uh, news to talk about, um, and it is about uh, Spider Man, um, or Tom Holland Spider Man, I guess. But it will indirectly affect where the future of the Venom films will go. Um, Tom Holland Spider-Man is set to basically get a new trilogy before the third solo film comes out. Um, which means he's going to have three other films, which is a quite interesting thing to, to be tasked into because I don't know that many characters... Uh, you know, any character, we're not just talking about superheroes, we're talking about, like, you know, any character genres that really gets that many, many movies, that claim to many movies, solo movies, um, uh, before. So, uh, he's definitely gonna be the first guy to really get a second trilogy, um, I would think, like, first, like, the set, for, for, because Hugh Jackman, for superheroes at least, definitely for Spider-Man, but Hugh Jackman, I mean, I mean, his movies were never really, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can count a lot of his movies, like, second trilogies and stuff like that, because they kind of were all over the place, they were, you know, some were good, some weren't so good, but, I mean, they were always, like, consistent on what they were doing. Uh, but it was, you know, either strictly him or X-Men, you know, um, they are always kind of doing different things and doing spinoff, uh, type deals, but, uh, Holland is getting a second, uh, he's getting a second trilogy after it, which makes sense because, I mean, the pre-sales, like, literally crashed, uh, Fandango's page, like, for this, uh, No Way Home uh movie um it's definitely gonna get another one but it's definitely um it's definitely gonna affect everything that happens um going forward because you got venom in his own deal uh venom 3 is gonna happen um and i know people have been pointing it out and we never really got to formally address about the whole canada or not i'm sorry the whole china thing where uh venom was for whatever reason pulled out of the theaters even though they had a guaranteed deal with china china just decided to be what they are and basically be dictators and uh take their stuff uh take uh, venom 2 out of the the theaters uh over there but um Um, so, so, basically, we got, um, him doing his own trilogy in the MCU, or at least the, that's what we understand, because, uh, Amy Pascal had said that, uh, we don't exactly know where this is gonna be, but I'm very curious on how, uh, they're gonna keep the interest of the, the audience, with this because um tom holland himself as an actor really is only known for spider-man right now and um in all his films though there was always someone there so i mean they're gonna have to you know do something to really kind of keep that you know the first solo film they had was uh with uh iron man um second film had a couple other different elements to it but then also they had uh, and then of course this film is supposed to have a lot of all the past villains so i mean uh possibly uh toby mcguire and andrew garfield uh which is still to this day not confirmed um as of this recording um uh, and I don't think people really have considered the fact that it's possibly possible that it's just uh, Tobey Maguire's coming back uh, and not Andrew Garfield. Because Andrew Garfield really seems to be genuine on what he's saying. Um, but I don't know for sure. But uh, I don't know what this is going to do because a lot of people were saying that there was rumors that they were going to possibly lead into another 
Spider-Man 4 film or even uh, an amazing Spider-Man 3 film uh, if those two are confirmed uh, for this film, which I guess you could still do, um, and, you know, and have them be in their universe while, you know, the other things are in the MCU, but I can't see them doing them all in the same calendar year. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes with the, the reports I, the reports we've heard about that. Um, as well as uh, whenever they're going to try to bring Miles Morales in there, because you know they're going to bring Miles Morales at some point in the uh, into that universe. Um, but where does this leave my character, Venom, in this? We know he's in the MCU, based on the end of uh, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, where is uh, Tom uh, Hardy's role in the MCU? Will he still be in the MCU by the end of this film? Uh, which I do believe he will be in this film by the end of this film because it makes the only sense that the next film would be Tom Holland versus Tom Hardy in Venom 3. Uh, that would be the only thing that makes sense and maybe that leads into whatever they plan on doing with um tom holland's in the future um you know for what they're gonna do because obviously they're gonna have him in more films than just his solo films you know they, they had him in multiple non-spider-man films uh you know throughout the mcu so there's definitely going to be something in there and I can't see a scenario where they don't have those two together because Tom Hardy has already said it. Everybody has pretty much said and hinted at the fact that this movie is going to happen uh, where those two interact. So at some point, the game plan is going to have to be uh, those two are going to be in a movie together. But that's going to be a Venom movie and not the three other Spider-Man movies. Which, I mean, with Sony, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, they got to put out as much as they can with this this whole franchise. You know, they're developing all these other spin-off movies. Um, they're going to eventually have to, you know, figure that out on what they want to do. Um, I think it's very interesting to see where this goes, especially when this announcement happened once the ticket sales crash the server that that's when uh they decided that oh yeah we're gonna announce this um very very interesting situation um you know the way they have it now i mean they're gonna probably have spider-man like going on for like years to come the way this has all been set up the way this has been all set up like Sony's going to keep doing this stuff. I don't know how much involvement in the MCU they're going to have, but if they keep doing that and then they do their own films, you know, while the MCU is going on, you know, with other films that they're doing like Venom, um, Morbius, and all these other things that they're developing, you know, um, I do believe Miles Morales will be a guy that's going to be either in tom holland's whole whether true whether he's in the first one or not he's gonna eventually be there um because that makes the only uh, sense that he would you know mentor him now after iron man mentored him uh that makes the only that makes the only logical sense i would think um they'll eventually do that but, I mean, there's other things. They, there's other options. Venom, you know, obviously the toxic storyline, which I do believe they're planning. Uh, I believe whenever they do the Venom 3 film, which will be Venom versus Spider-Man, it's going to be toxic's going to be involved. Like, he's going to be the third wheel <coughs> that gets those two to, like, you know, collide. Um, and we're going to see that in that film. Whenever that film comes out, that film's going to make a billion dollars. Um, because you're going to see, you're going to see what everyone wants to, what everyone has been wanting to see for pretty much years now. And that is Venom versus Spider-Man. 
Like, that's what people want to see. That is, like, the end game for, like, what people have been wanting to see for those two for a long time. You know, people got screwed Spider-Man 3 when they basically made Venom look like a sissy. Um, there were some okay moments, but, I mean, wasn't very, uh, a good memory. Uh, for our beloved Venom character that was basically then pulled from cinema for 15 years uh, after that. Um, so, close to 15 years, but, um, but yeah, um, quite interesting. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on this is. Where do you think the future of Venom and uh, Spider-Man goes? Uh, what do you guys think will happen after this? Let me know what you guys think. Just my quick little brief thoughts on this whole development that everyone's been talking about. Um, and, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, if you like this video, please subscribe. And that's about it, guys. I think this is Ultimate Goku. Peace!